China is set to launch the Shenzhou 10 spacecraft this month. It will carry three astronauts to the Tiangong-1 space module. Preparations for the launch have entered their final stage. Shenzhou 10 spacecraft has been assembled and Long March 2F carrier rocket has been transported to the launch site at Zhou Quan Satellite Launch Center. Shenzhou 10 will conduct several missions in space, including rendezvous and docking with the Tiangong-1 space module. Astronauts will carry out experiments in the module. The crew has been doing s simulator training on the ground and is now ready for the mission. The Tiangong-1 space lab has been brought down to a docking orbit and is ready for the rendezvous and docking. Meanwhile, search and rescue teams are on the job for the Shenzhou 10 mission. The initiation ceremony has been held in Shanghai's Waigaochao Dock. Rescue ships number 101 and number 112 have set off to join others. A marine network has been set up. It will search for and collect fragments that fall from the spaceship and be on standby if the astronauts need to use the emergency return capsule. The 2400 nautical mile network spans from East China's Jiangsu province all the way to the island of Guam in the West Pacific. The Rescue Bureau of the East China Sea was also in charge for Shenzhou 7, 8 and 9 missions. Now, how about spending your life working and living in the remote desert? That's what thousands of scientists are doing at Dongfeng Space City, China's first spacecraft launch center, deep in the northwest desert of Inner Mongolia Autonomous Region. The nearest city is two hours away by car. Our reporter Wang Xinye went to ask some of the scientists how they're coping with life on the base and what made them choose the job. Software engineer Dr. An Jinxia is a key member of the data analysis team for China's Shenzhou Tan program. Her expertise means she's played a part in every one of China's manned space missions. But she never envisaged the life in the desert. Dr. An has a PhD from Tsinghua University in Beijing. She married in 1998, but her husband came straight to work at the Dongfeng Space City while she remained in Beijing, finishing her degree. Then the chance came along to join him in the desert. My husband and I married in 1998, but didn't live together. I really want to stay with him. So two years later, when I was given a chance to transfer, I came here from Beijing immediately. She's now the mother of a nine-year-old. But it's not just family ties that keep her here. I like what I'm doing, and I enjoy working with those who've given a lot to China's space program. I feel proud to be part of it. Others arrived at the base by a different path. Qi Chudong joined the Space City's technological department last year as an engineer. He grew up in Guangdong province, but decided to move as far away as possible from China's prosperous southern coastal areas. He says he was simply curious to experience a different lifestyle. Many young people find life here very boring, especially with the lack of nightlife. But I like the quietness here. I grew up in Guangdong and have been so familiar with urban life. Now I want something very different from that. There is not much entertainment in this small city. Some even say life here is dull. But people like An Junxia and Qi Chudong rather enjoy the simplicity. They say the sense of achievement they feel from being a part of China's space dream can easily make up for what's been missing in their life. Wang Xinye, CCTV, Dongfeng Space City. The launch of the Shenzhou 10 spacecraft has been attracting attention from overseas Chinese in Singapore. Some say they're proud to see China developing space technology at such a speed, while others are encouraged by China's achievements. Yeah, I've heard about it actually. It's quite impressive. This uh, Chinese Central project. Um, well, I'm impressed. Uh, I'm actually very proud being Chinese because uh, they have achieved in such a short time, much shorter time than what the U.S. and the Russians did for so long. In fact, um, it makes you proud to be a Chinese anywhere you are. Uh, 
As an overseas Chinese, it is amazing for us to hear about this great event. China has been gaining more international standing with impressive events like its achievements in space technology, as well as the success of the 2008 Beijing Olympic Games. China will soon hold a briefing about the launch of the Shenzhou 10 spacecraft at the Jiuquan Launch Center in the northwestern province of Gansu. For more on that, let's talk to our reporter Tang Bo. Hello, Tang Bo. Uh, what can be expected from uh, the press conference coming up? Well, in about one hour, um, the press conference for the Shenzhou 10 mission will be held here. And um, this is the first press conference before the actual launch. And later this afternoon, when three astronauts will meet with the press, so the names of the three astronauts are expected to be released at the press conference later. And also, um, this will be the final mission of Shenzhou spacecraft to Tiangong 1. So we are eager to know, to find out what's next and what are they going to do with the module and are there going to be any new types of orbiters and launch vehicles. And also, what makes the mission this time so important and different is that it's going to testify some new technology adopted on Shenzhou 9 mission and to get more experience for mid-long-term flight of uh, future spacecraft and um, space station. And, um, well, Tambo, how, how is the preparation for the launch going? Well, on um, this afternoon, the rocket boosters will be loaded with fuel, uh, and the whole fueling process will last about five hours. And besides testing for um, all the launch vehicles and spacecraft and also some other um, relating products have been finished. They are in good condition and are ready to blast off. Um, three astronauts have also finished all their testings and training and are ready to, 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 to get launched too. Um, the mission is expected to last for 15 days, longer than any other previous flight, and if conducted successfully, um, China space program will be one step closer to fully master the rendezvous and the docking technology back to you. Thank you very much indeed. Our reporter Tan Bo at Jiuquan Satellite Launch Center. You're watching CCTV News. Stay with us.